Hello and welcome to Into the Maelstrom, uh, Thief 2 fan mission by Morgan. Uh, so the same author that made uh, Returning a Favour, which I've played previously and really enjoyed. So, before I get started, uh, as usual, I'm going to go switch back to Notepad and read out the briefing. After a professional visit in Port Tyrus turned sour, you needed a safe ticket back to the city with your take and your skin intact. Pulling some strings has brought you passage in a cosy crate aboard the Inigo, a swift merchantman with a tight-lipped crew. The captain trusts you as far as he can throw you. He insisted on holding onto your sword for the voyage, but it's as warm a welcome as you can afford. All was not to be plain sailing, however. The Inigo foundered in a storm four days out, and now the currents have dragged her to rest in a deep, sinister cavern. Being no seaman, and more unnerved than you'll admit, you retired early to wait for the crew to finish repairs only to wake in the night to the screams of men, and of something else. Alrighty, um, let's go into the Maelstrom. Find out what's happened to the ship and crew. Look for the captain's log in his cabin on deck. Well, let's bump that up. Uh, nothing changes with the initial settings, but uh, Apparently there's extra objectives on hard and also expert, but I'm going to go with hard as usual. Let's go see if we can find the captain's log. Alright, we start off in a crate with, uh, we have a bottle, cheese and bread. Nice. That's our uh, rations to survive on. Nice, because I don't have much equipment. One broadhead. No, there's a few more. Explosive barrel, which I can't pick up. These arrows are just randomly sitting around everywhere. We've got here tongs, a spoon, a hammer. Nothing that I need or can make use of. Alrighty. So let's review my equipment. I have five broadheads, three water arrows. If something's out there killing all the crew, I don't think that's going to be uh, much use to me. Ooh, that sounds like an apparition. I don't have a sword or a blackjack, this is very unusual. I'm going to have to be very sneaky, I think, if there's bad stuff going on. Oh, flares, that's going to be useful. Well, I do have my lockpicks. Is it coming this way? No. Might be up on deck. Sure sound carries really well in a place like this. Two flash bombs, okay, that could be useful. Healing potion, are they dead? They look, they don't look very alive. So they don't look very healthy if they are alive. Well, what's happening up here? It's not as dark as I would like. shadows. Well, there's, uh, uh, it does not look like a healthy crew member. They look rather on dead. Got a boat. Uh, I don't really want a robot. That's a bigger. I didn't think I could pick up a whole robot just like that. That's uh, good arms you have there, Garrett. Oh 
bloody hell is a wisp that's going to give me away as well. I'm not careful. At least I can move the robots, robots out of the way to give me some freedom to move here. Quick. You didn't see anything? You didn't see anything? Did you? Tell me you didn't see anything. Oh god, it did. It's coming this way. No, 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 don't, don't. Back down we go! Uh, 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 help. Ah, <laughs> uh, alright, they saw me. Oh, lucky dice. Uh, I mean, I managed to escape that unharmed, so I will call that lucky. Duh. Dear, oh dear. I guess I better wait for them to calm down now. Is there anything else I missed while I was in here, I guess? While I'm waiting for them to calm down, that's where I came in. Nah. I don't think I missed anything. Well, I mean, obviously there's lucky dice. <sighs> Still yelling out there, hunting. Dear, dear, dear. Without a sword, I can't easily finish him off either. It would, be, would have been relatively easy to backstab. I'm listening for footsteps. Sounds like they might have calmed down. Right, yeah, they both come down, they both come back to where they started. Oh, he's looking for something. What did he hear? Stay away, Wisp! Oh. Well, I've got a quick way back down, I guess. He's still hunting. Give up! Give up! Go back, there's nothing here. Whew. Alright, he's coming back. Too much light around here. Don't know if I'll be visible up there. God, I think he heard that. Captain's cabin. Uh, well, I'd like to slash the weapons with my sword, but I don't have a sword. I do have a sword. Okay. Uh, I might wait to slash the banners until I've dealt with these two creatures. But first, what's this note? Whoops. Tomlin, you're to ship a passenger on the return voyage. Some shifty sod who Master Gervase owes a favour needs to be brought into harbour in cover. I'll drop him off the night you sail. You'll have to clean out a crate to hide him in and bribes all round to the crew. There goes our margin. And here I thought they was running a trader, not a bloody ferry. 
Still, ours is not the reason why. If you fancy your job, you'll keep mum and hop to the master's whim, same as I. Bristol. P.S. I'll also be throwing in something for your little stash downstairs to deliver to Magnus. He might make this trip worth your while yet. Ooh, there's a little stash downstairs, is there? Presumably not the dice I found. What's that? A chat cup. I certainly knew that's dropped on the bed quietly. Right, let's read the captain's log. June 8th, day 4. An hour before dawn, we were caught by a heavy gale blowing in from the southern sea, so fast we could not reach coast in time. In fierce and winds, the mainmast split and took the foremast with it. We lost Wilson, crashed under rigging, Fennec fell to the deck and is terribly broken. The masts were blown overboard and could not be salvaged. We could do naught but weather it. We have been swept off course at least three hours north to northeast. The storm must have drawn us at terrible speed, for we are now off Christopher's coastal charts altogether. Last bearing was taken this morning from the tip of Kale Spin at 110 to starboard, but there are now no landmarks to be seen. Christopher is beside himself, and useless to mankind. June 9th, day 5. Gave Wilson to the sea this morning. Fenix still cannot speak and seems in great pain. Our sails are in tatters and we are adrift upon strong currents, G60 northwest, pulled towards a crowded archipelago. With luck we can put in at a safe bay to repair, but the water is main shallow and Christopher fears we shall be wrecked upon the shoals ere we reach shore. We'll have to discipline him if his morale suffers further. His fretting puts the fear of death into the other crew. When we make it back to the city, I shall put in to serve for a real navigator instead of this four-eyed panty waist. June 10th, day 6. Some foul forces at work here. Near dusk, the currents dragged us into the mouth of a cavern in the cliffside, which took the aftermast with it. We have run aground, and now the tide has stranded us behind a wall of jagged rocks that we had earlier crossed without a scratch. First the unseasonal storm, and now the flow is drawing us straight to this place. The trickster's magics are about. Tenny has sighted a wrecked ship buried with us in these caves. He claims it may bear the name of the Maelstrom, but I refuse to believe that until I see it. I shall take a party to explore her and salvage what we can, and see for what remains of her captain's logs and charts. The air feels stifling as if it were breathed, and I'm filled with a dread I cannot name. The sooner our repairs are done, the sooner we leave this miserable hole. New objectives. You've heard tales of the Maelstrom, a dreaded pirate ship with a fearsome mage on her crew. Her hold should carry a fortune, get at least 850 loot. For this place is crawling with undead pirates, and the ship isn't going anywhere. Find the captain, and work out a plan to get out of here. And actually, I never thought to check, do I have a map? I have a map of our ship. Uh, nice, not very helpful, I guess it does tell me where the captain's cabin was if I didn't know. Um, precious cargo, I like it. Uh, stored right there. That's me. Great. That's the only map I've got so far, though. Alright, so now we need to go find the Maelstrom, but first... We have some, uh... Problematic... Fellows to deal with here. Let's see... One down, one to go. He heard that though. <laughs> he absolutely heard that. I'm hearing more footsteps on metal too, I think someone else heard that. Their uh, dying breaths do seem quite loud. Plus side, I can uh, hear him quite easily from here to tell when he gets up and goes back. <laughs> I can actually see him, he's just wandering there. Alright, I'll watch. Go on, keep up and go home. That's right. Good little apparition. Question is, can I get out of here without making more noise? <laughs> Yeah, yes, without making more noise, but with being seen. It's not really a good trade off. So you definitely saw me there. Alright, the whisper's floating around here, so I need to wait till it moves on. Hmm. 
still someone on the pier there, wandering back and forth on metal as well. Alright, let's see if we can get out of here without being spotted by our inquisitive friend who has gone back to his post. Good. He's not looking this way. Oh, is somebody looking this way? Yeah! I might, I might just have to try and, uh... Oh, he actually saw me down there. Wow. I might just have to try and, uh, hack him to death. Let's, let's give it a go. Oh, that was a bad idea. Well, he got me, but I'm gonna get him. Stomach! Die, you dreaded undead pirate. Alright. Well, I've got a healing potion, let's use it. So, good news is, we have two enemies gone. Which means I can now slash these banners without fear of making noise by accidentally hitting the walls. Yeah, or candles, you know, hitting candles is a problem as well. There we are. I was about to say, is that something new? Is there anything new around here? Oh, oh look at that. He's got a nice bottle of wine that I missed. Um, ah, so Tomlin, wait, Tomlin is the captain, right? Where's our map? Owner, Gervais, Canberry, Captain Jacob Tomlin. Right, so when he says something for your little stash downstairs, that must mean this bottle of wine that I just got. Alright. I think we are done with our little ship here. I want to check up the top here. Is there anything up here? We've got a sextant, but it's uh, not, not valuable to me. Ship's wheel. More. Oh, Christopher the Tillerman is dead. Oh, there's a nice view of the moon. Alright. I could. Uh, is there a cavern off that way? Looks like I might be able to swim that way. But let's first see what we're dealing with on shore. Is that the footsteps I'm hearing? There's two of them there, I think. Yeah. Two more. They will, they're not going to be easy to deal with. I might not want to go that way. I don't need rope arrows though, so I don't know if, if I get off the ship. If I just jump off the side, can I get back on anywhere? I don't know. Doesn't really look like it. Let's take another look at the front. Oh, there's, there's a beach there. And in fact, I could probably go out along the uh, <laughs> house brick here. See where that's going to take me. Oops. Oh, that's the wreck ship there, the Maelstrom. Well, they saw me. Oh, somebody got crushed by a rock, but they left a note. Crispin, you're off your wick. As soon as his magic aunt, nothing a good axe to the Norgan would fix. And some captain he'd make. He gives me the bloody creeps and he could nail on a ship to save his own life. I'd like to even have much a ship to fight over after the quakes. You'd be better off throwing your lot in with me. I'm sneaking a boat to the cave as soon as I can get the chance. Then we could get over them rocks on the dawn tide and away. To hell with the stinking pit and you bickering fools. Well, uh, looks like the quakes got him in the end. Alright, what's down here? Hmm. The staff of Susie. Is that? Oh, and a ring. What's this say? Here lies a sissy, sorcerer, and coward and mutineer. Don't come back, you bastard. Ah, oh, they cut off his head and left him there to rot. Interesting. I wonder uh, what he did that made the rest of the pirates so hostile to him. Can I get up here? I could, maybe. He saw me last time I was up there, but that's because of the bloody wisp. Flying around, lighting everything up. 
Not that they cause any harm by themselves. <laughs> Just. Didn't hear anything. <laughs> Down. All right. If somebody heard that it's coming this way, I better move. Because they would find me up there. But let's go for a swim. Let's see what we've got what we're dealing with in the water. Oh wait. Pretty shallow. It's not even a swim, is it? Not yet. Here we go. Anything in the water? It's a very well modeled ship. It's very nice. Must have, must have taken a ton of work to uh, to do in the editor. Now, uh, so the what does indeed come around here. So we have another way ashore with some bloody glowing mushrooms. Although there's no nobody patrolling here, I can see. We have another dead pirate with a note where his head should be. Fools be warned! This be the fate of all who abandon the Maelstrom. Ye shall never leave her. In this life or the next. Well, this is head. Alright, so who was trying to kill his mutinous crew? I said it's Maelstrom. What is in this chest? Some, uh. Hmm. Hearing more continuous laughter here. Ransom the uh, cloth of pistol if you but listen, I tell you, I saw the captain creep off with a prize the other night. The scurvy prick is doing us out of our TV is what? Putting aside for his old age. He'll swing ere he reach it for this. I saw him take it to the eastern caves. I'll figure out where he's hiding it, and when I get back we'll see whose side you stand on, hey? Eastern caves, huh? There's something to keep an eye out for. Yeah, get me stuck here. Alright, uh, can I actually go anywhere from here? I guess I could... Climb up. Or oh, that, uh, haunt running around laughing like that, I'm not sure I want to. I might try going back in this cave here. I think the other way- ooh, my arrows. I think the other way back around the other end is a better way aboard. It's nice and dark and I can see where I'm going. But is there anything down here? Uh, the ghost of a city has come back from the grave to haunt uh, the Twitch chat. This is a problem. Alright, go move, get a move on your wisp. <laughs> Oops, let's try not to make too much noise. So I'm hearing haunt like laughter, but I'm not seeing a haunt. So that is probably just there to spook me out. On the other hand, the apparition. Ooh. Oh, he saw me. Appears to have had a pathfinding error. Ooh, it can get me. Sort of. Well, can't quite get at me. Ow! 
Ow, 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 it's got a long sword. I was still pretty good at sword fighting. This is probably a bad idea. I mean, I've never actually fenced one of these before, but uh, this is unusual circumstances. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I should wait for him to calm down and see if I can backstab him. Also, where's my bread and cheese? I need my bread and cheese. Hmm. Tasty. He's hunting up back and forth up there to try and find me. Right, I did just see a note stuck in the door there. I was wondering if I should like waste a flash bomb on him or something. Oh, he's calmed down now. All right, problem solved. In fact, there's another, another pirate down here, so that's. Oh, oh this is not good. What's why is this not good? Is that uh that's Captain Tomlin. Quite dead. Alright, what's our new objective? Well, we're not gonna work out a plan with him. Looks like you found your captain, and he isn't going anywhere either. You'll have to make it out on your own. Grab those navigation charts, find a lifeboat, and hole up somewhere safe to wait for high tide. Once you're done pondering, of course. Alright. So that might explain why I can pick up the boats. What have we got what have we got here? Mark ye well, as his he was caught plotting mutiny and murder, so I stove his pretty face in. Any more of you that question my command of this ship, wreck or no wreck, could look for the same. His body and cabin are off limits to the lot of you, and that any as touches them will lose their sudden necks. So says I, Captain Merrick Blackbrow of the Maelstrom. Hmm, there's something funky going on with those uh, lights as well. And we have a flooded uh, hold. The uh, forecastle hatch doesn't open. And there's the planks leading back to our boat. Okay. What about the door here? Locked. Can I pick it? I can pick it. Do I want to pick it? Is anyone nasty side? I can't hear a thing. Is this a CZ's cabin, or is this the captain's? I mean, it looks pretty, uh, magical out here. Ah. I haven't actually used- oh, two rope arrows, that could be useful. Some loot. Something else that looks broken. Oh, money. I uh, probably don't want to close that. What is the deal with all these weird, scully, scully things? I don't know. Uh, there's no... There's a bit of loot here, but no uh, sign of any kind of charts. Chop down the flag. We'll have no more pirates here. Alright. What a... Uh, it's not going to answer any of my questions, I guess I'm going into the hold. For now. There's a ladder I can get back out, so I shouldn't need the rope arrow. Why, why would I need rope arrows? Maybe to get up higher somewhere. What do we got here? Another dead pirate. An empty chest. A locked chest. Can I reach it? I can't just... Well, that's more loot. 470, we need, what, 850? 850, alright. I'm gonna need to find some navigation charts, and we need to find a CC's, whatever his name is, cabin. Which is clearly not gonna be... What, what the hell happened there? I... 
found his cabin, I guess. Uh, it's full of rats. And this looks like a magic field that... Here's a magic field that's keeping the water out. That's very odd. It's a ghost rat. Uh, there's a candlestick you can do something with. I don't really want to sip in that circle. I don't know what's going to happen. Ooh, I'll take the money there. And a fire arrow, right? What does it say? Scroll. Day 15. If the inner circle could see this now, could see the fruit of Azaran and the power they shrank from, perhaps they shall one day feel its sting instead and realize the folly of an error mind. For that which we do not embrace will come to our enemies instead. Yet Azaran's directions elude me still. The prisms are in place and the candle burst burns the fierce moon black. But the magnetism is somehow awry. I cannot afford another delay, else the moon wane once more. In the meantime, Marek fails utterly to hide his jealousy and refused me my share in half of the plunder like I were a mere deckhand. One more petty slight from his illiterate lips and it will be his sails that burn to the waters to match the barons. But yet, soon he too shall be mine. Alright, uh, and there's another book. Treatises on the reanimation. That's around the cruel. Ooh, small loot hiding up on the shelf. Another note tucked away. Day 10. My research continues apace, and I have caught a rat aboard that shall serve as the perfect vehicle for mine experiments. I have decided to name him Ferdinand, after my noisy old master. The water ward does a fine job of keeping the cabin dry. Never again will I lose a month of work to another leak. We set sail on Thursday to intercept the Baron's galley. The ideal chance to begin, for the moon shall wax ripe on the 20th. All that is needed now is the casket of dragon bone from Ascent, and my preparations shall be complete. And the ship of ill-bred fools will be under perfect silent control. Alrighty. Let's walk around the circle again. I don't know again if I need to, but be on the safe side. Another note. Papyrus this time. Day 17. Eureka! After days of fruitless trials, I have unlocked the wisdom of Azaran in a flash of insight. The moon black was reversing the energy flow. It is burning white which shall affect the binding. And with a simple exchange of candle, I did focus its bitter light upon the circle and forced Pavedni's tiny soul into the prison. Once his throat was slit and he did drain, he lay until the rising of the moon before returning to the world anew. He glows with the pale, pure light of undeath. And I have but to think any command, and he doth obey perf perfectly to the extent of his power. Nothing now stands between me and control. On the morrow, ah, uh, on the morrow, these worms shall taste the sweet slavery of death, and the seas shall know the true terror of the Maelstrom and her damned crew. Only one decision remains, to let them fall to the cold sickness, or hasten their transformation with the blade. Hmm. So Azaram was, uh, ooh, invisibility potion. Why is that here? I guess I'm not done. Vestury of Forgotten Fauna. The Book of Coral and Scale. Mastery of the Fell Tongue with annotations by Azarin of Lilith. Yes, yes. Fed knees. Stop your squeaking. Can I take that? Ooh, I can, I can turn these things. What happens? Oh, let's make a save. What happens if I turn all these round and focus the gem? Hmm, nothing. What happens if I light the candle with my fire arrow first? Uh, well, oh, Ben is well. That didn't work, did it? What if I use the staff on it? Nope. Well, flash bomb. Ow. Right. What about a flare? Maybe I can use a... Nope, flares don't seem to light it. Hmm. 
Yeah, this isn't working. That's dust in water instead. No, all right, let's reload so I haven't wasted all that stuff. If there's a way to do something with this, and I am missing a clue. Uh, can I just smash the crystal? No. All right. Have another quick look around. See if I'm missing any any bit of notes here. But if there is something else to be done, I imagine I'll find out elsewhere. Ooh, I mean black candle. Maybe that's what I needed. Do I light the moon black candle? Alright, let's try that again. Let's try the fire arrow again. Nope. Oh, uh, yep. Uh. Okay, they are focusing. What is gonna happen here? Fednies! Fednies, get in the circle while I do this. I want to see if I can make you a real live rat. No, in the circle, not outside the circle. Oh, he does glow, isn't he? There he goes. What happened there? Everything shattered. Bonus objective, you have shattered the city's soul prison and granted peace to the Maelstrom's crew. Including... Fevednes. Alas, poor Fevednes, the deanimated rat. We'll put him in here so he doesn't end up smelling well. Won't go in. Uh, well, y your death is probably better than your constant squeaking undeath. Certainly for my ears. Alright. Okay. So we still need uh, more loot. As well as finding some navigation charts and a safe place. Where am I going to find more loot though? Haven't I been everywhere? Well, there's quakes and there's... Well, but that's just the very uh, aft end of the ship. There's nothing more there. If I go back up to the bow... I've been here already. So, I guess that would have... If I managed to get there without murdering all the ghosts, well, if you can call it murdering, then I guess that probably would have made them all go away as well. So, probably not a bad thing. So I'm just looking back in here. I read that already, right? Yeah. Hmm. I'm clearly missing something here. Oop. Oh. More loot. 595. We've still got 255 to go. It's a lot of loot to be missing. Get up there, guy. Mm, and nothing in the water down here, is there? Hopefully, I can get out again. Oh, I can swim out, maybe. No, it won't fit. Can I get out? I can. Nope. Garrett's having mental troubles. Well, yes, Garrett, I know this is an unfamiliar place to be, but... You should still mantle. Oh, I, don't know what's, I don't know what's wrong with him. Dear, dear, going down here might have been a problem. Alright, let's try a rather less orthodox way of getting out of here. Rather, probably the least uh, exciting rope arrow I've ever done, but something is up with those rocks and it's not working. Uh, so, find a boat. What is it? Find uh, the charts, a lifeboat, and hole up somewhere safe to wait for high tide. Well, uh, we have some boats, right? We can take these boats. We have two boats, in fact. They, look, both, they both look intact. I mean, I can sort of see something through the bottom of that one. Oh, another moss arrow, okay. Not that I needed them. Why did I suddenly get rope arrows? Is there somewhere higher up I could reach with a rope arrow that I wasn't able to reach before? Let's uh, weigh anchor. 
Hope I didn't need that. Navigation charts, navigation charts. Uh, who was? Was this guy the navigator? Oh, here's the Tillerman. Uh, have I been down there? I think I've been down there. Let's find out. <laughs> Yeah, something down here. Here's all the rocks. Um, where's that cave take me? Since I can now explore a little more safely. I can actually probably go this way and not worry. I better oh. come back here when I'm done. Oh, is this my safe place to hold up? Okay. Well, that answers one question. So the other question is, where is all the ready loot? I'm missing a whole pile of it, and I have no idea where to look. Okay, get out. Yeah, frantic thing we know in chat is saying, that's the opposite of weighing anchor. And, uh... Well, I did weigh it. It was very heavy. That's why I dropped it. Ha ha. Where's the loot? Come on, Garrett. Yeah, it's easy. I mean, I've got your bloody staff here. I don't know what's, you know, what that's supposed to be. Oh, I've got navigation charts. Alright. I found them. Um... I don't remember where I found them. So, literally, we know where the boat is. The only thing we need is extra loot. We've got 595. That's not nearly enough. Well, hmm. Well, maybe I should have gone on normal mode instead. I don't know, but... Uh, this is not my favourite aspect of games. Just hunting for loot. Especially on a stream. Anything down there? Yep. So where haven't I explored thoroughly? Probably everywhere, knowing my usual tactic. Oh, he's got some loot on him. That might answer why where, where, where I'm missing loot. 695. Alright, that was 100. We better look at crew then, see if any more crew have pockets to be picked. Um, that's a thought that had not occurred to me before now. I didn't examine the crew on the ship over here, so let's let's do that. Well, you weren't a crewman, you were, you were a dead crewman. Do you have money? And you fell down on some money? No. There was someone down here as well. Did you have money on you? No. Poor Fennec. Has no money. He is literally poor. Anyone else hiding? I mean, I found your lucky dice. Anyone else hiding money around the beds? Doesn't look like it. Back on deck. It's you again. How about you? Janus the deckhand has no money. He did have a barrel fall on top of him. Alright, anything more in the captain's cabin that I might have missed? Nope. Wait, how do we get up there? Oh, this side. And... I mean... This actually might be useful uh, if I'm going to be trying to make use of those charts, but you know. Christopher, oh, Christopher has some glasses, they're valuable. That's 745, we're just 105 to go now. Oh, that's a rather splintered mask, mask there. Where is the last 105 loot? Hmm. Did I check the captain's body? 
I mean, I know I saw the cap found the captain's body. Did I check it for loot? I don't think I did. Where was he? He was uh, over this side. That's right. Where the haunt was stuck. Was sitting. Come here, captain. Sit in the light. No. Did you have any loot on you when you fell? No. Or maybe you had the shots. Alrighty. Yeah, I read that. You're the guy I first found loot on. Did I, did I check this cabin again? I mean, I looked here before. I'm not sure I looked as thoroughly as I maybe could have. Uh, window, not a secret. Nothing in the window. There's a bunch of loot there that I got. There's a book. Did I read the book? Go away, Flair. That ungoodly bastard! They're screaming outside! The ghosts are eating them all, I swear! SCZ is bringing them all back to life against me. Even killing that prick may could make him stop. But he ain't having this ship while I can stand. Alright. This is the captain's cabin. The captain... Well... Guess perished here, or someone broke in and made him perish. Uh, any more loot hiding here? Do you, do you have any loot? Mm, apparently not. There's that. Well, you know, in theory, there could be more in that hole there, but I can't find a way in there. Unless. Unless. Wait, where are all those explodey barrels? They're explodey barrels, right? I've got fire arrows, right? These things should not be a coincidence, I don't think. Uh, wrong end of the ship. No, right end of the ship. I see explodey barrels! I've got one fire arrow left. Let's try it. Uh, I'm in the water. Did I explode anything good? Because I mean, if I didn't, I'm gonna want a refund. Just that same letter again. Uh, oh, something about take, take, take uh, their share to the eastern caves. Right, let's reload. Let's go east. Um, let's race east. Eastern caves. Eastern caves. Have I found any eastern caves? I don't think I've been east far enough to find any caves, have I? I mean, there's this cave where the ship is, but I don't think that counts, does it? Hmm. Well, let's jump off and have another look. <laughs> I mean, there's you. There's that M, but, uh... Maybe he's just talking about here. Because that's, that's various people. Oh, we've got a figurehead. Hello. Should I find another cave? Should I expect to find another cave, I wonder? Hmm. I have a feeling where Eastern Caves, he just meant this area where this ship was, and I might have found his body there, crushed under that rock. One hundred and five left. I'm kind of glad I didn't choose expert because I don't know what the loot goal would be there. Higher, no doubt. But if I don't find anything soon, I'm going to have to look up a loot list, and I don't want to look up a loot list. This is supposed to be a quick episode. That's not valuable. Uh, I should bring a boat here while I'm here, but you know. There was only the one, well, two cups in that chest. Hmm. Well, there was one other exploded barrel, right? In... In, uh, this hold. Wasn't there? Somewhere? I thought I saw another exploded barrel. Yeah, uh... Firstly... That looks dangerous to explode... From this distance. Secondly... I don't think it's gonna explode anything interesting, but I'm gonna try it. Well, it didn't hurt me. But it certainly didn't explode anything interesting. Probably don't need the fire arrow, but you never know. 
Anything, anything value in this crate? Oh no, that's just my bed. On top? No. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Way too much, way too much frantic counting in corners. I mean, the, the maelstrom was supposed to have tons of loot. It's supposed to be, you know, should carry a fortune. And uh, I'm quite a long way short of a fortune just now. 745. All right, let's take a boat to that cave since I can. Uh, I keep forgetting which way to go. Oh, there's another exploding barrel. That's the one I was thinking of. But again, Ray's not going to explode anything I care about. There's nothing that's going to blow up with interest. It's not going to reveal a new secret passage there or anything. Um, I mean, it's possible there might be a secret passage somewhere about that uh, I could use that I'm missing. Well, not so much passage. Uh, it sank. I'm not sure that's kind of boat that's going to do me any good. Now it doesn't even work. Um, oh wait, yeah, I can't figure it out. <laughs> I mean, if it doesn't even float properly, uh, um, is that going to get me out of here? Well, I can, only, I can only hope. Maybe I can find a bucket or something and bail while I do it. Alright, well there's the boat for later. Wait for high tide. I mean, this is a bad place to wait for high tide because I could just get flooded in here and be unable to get out. But you know, whatever, whatever. Everywhere's a safe place because I have dealt with all the ghosts. Get out there. Go. Jump. All right. Right. Well, I'm back, and I definitely missed something. Uh, not the sign for the maelstrom. We found an unfortunate fellow who'd run off again, he'd run off with their share, right? That's what they were accusing him of. And <laughs> ouch. We found him here. Crushed underneath a rock. Now apparently the light up there is actually something. There's a I can see like a doorway or something. So I think I'll put a rope arrow and that beam I can just barely make out there. And see what he was hiding up here. Uh, there's some loot. Should fetch a nice prize. Uh, and there's a bunch more loot. 1,045. All right, that's all the loot I needed. Uh, uh, in chat says the uh, old cliche players don't look up. The thing is, I did look up there. When I saw a vague light and then uh, everything's so dim, I just thought it was um, just a mushroom sitting on a rock, just adding some more flavor. I didn't realize I couldn't see the beam. So, all we gotta do now is uh, get back to our little hidey hole where we left our boat and wait for high tide. So, off we go, come on. Come on, you can get up there. There we go. Alright, we'll wait here with our non floaty boat. Alright, uh, that was Into the Maelstrom. We uh, escaped from the ship, the wrecked ship. We uh, destroyed Assisi's soul prison and freed the undead crew who we'd already killed a second time and got a thousand something loot well we still missed 300 loot somewhere I have no idea where but okay I'll uh, accept that there's probably some loot very well hidden there well we missed one secret entirely that's probably a bunch of the other loot um, but that was uh, a really really nice tiny mission made for a contest but really detailed and an excellent uh, setting I really enjoyed I really enjoyed playing that and that is Into the Maelstrom. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.